Hi there, this is Mark with ET Transport. Today we're gonna to be doing uh, how to move the axle on the trailer for weight distribution. Most of the time, all the time, you really wanna start with your 41 inch mark between the axles here. The reason why, it gives you a good plane with weight. Each pin on the bottom here is about 250 pounds. You can move it forward and you can move it backward. You always wanna start here. Reason why is a lot of states, if you head to California, Oregon, and everything, this is called the bridge law. They want it in between. The states that usually want it between the 41 inch mark is like noted on here. Anything out west, Oregon, Montana, Idaho, Omaha, all these states here, they prefer to have the 41 inch mark between the axles, center or in front and behind of the axle. Don't go past here or past here because then you will get into the bridge law. When you move the tandems from the 41 inch mark backwards, you're making the tandems lighter and you're making the tractor heavier. It works off a seesaw. So your 41 inch mark is like the seesaw of the trailer moving backwards and forward. Every pin, again, is 250 pounds you're moving. So one thing I wanna make sure everybody knows is when you hook up to a trailer that has been sitting a long period of time, just wanna make sure everybody knows that all of our trailers have self-dumping valves. So once a trailer is sitting a long period of time, it exhausts all the air out of the trailer. That means airbags, brake chambers, and tanks. So when you hook up to it, make sure that you charge up the system and have the truck blow off. I'll show you how that works. So I'm sitting in the truck. I've just hooked up to the trailer. I've connected the airlines to the trailer. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna charge up the system. Charging up the system, you push in the red. When you do that, you're now applying air to the trailer. Now you're filling up four airbags, four brake chambers, and two tanks. As you can see right here, the gauges have gone down. Now you need to fill it right back up to 120 PSI to slide the axles. The axles will only slide when there's air inside to pull the pins apart. So once it builds up to 120, you'll hear the tractor blow off, which means it's the uh, release valve which shuts off the compressor. The tractor has just blown off, which means the compressor shut off at 120. Now what you need to do is pull out the red button now will take all the air out, but still has air in the chamber to release the valve. So as you can see here, now you pulled it. You go back here, you pull the plunger, with the air in, it should release. And I got a truck that's got a little heavy. If it does this, the only thing to do is go back into the tractor and just jiggle it back and forth. As you can see, all it took was just a little movement for the pins to pop in. Now you can move the axle either forward or backward to distribute the weight. I'll show you how it slides. So I've slid in the axle backwards right here. So what I did, I moved it from here to here. So I'm looking at about four pins. So in this instance, you're moving four pins, which now you need a thousand pounds. You would count off four pins, mark it in either direction, whichever direction you're moving the bogies back or forward, mark it so you know exactly where you want to stop. So you would have an accurate weight of distribution of the thousand pounds. Now to lock it, at this point, you just push in the pin. Right? You don't, you don't see the pins come out. You go back into the truck and what you're going to do is just jiggle it, move it forward or back and you'll see the pins lock back. That's all it took to move the axle. There's no pulling it hard or soft. It just very lightly, it will pop back in. Now, as you can see, the axle is locked. Now you would count it and see how many you are. Go back onto the scale and get a reweight if you have to push it back and forth. Here is a good example. The tractor is overweight by 1,480 pounds. The maximum weight allowed is 3,400 pounds. So because the 41 inch mark is center of the two tires, we can move the trailer axle six pins forward, sliding it towards the truck, and this will transfer 1,500 pounds to the trailer. But that's how you move, uh, move the axle on these trailers. Very simple, very easy. If you have any issues, you know, there's no problem. You can always call me or call our safety department and we can always help you out. 
Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.